Oh, okay. Can you find Carly and show Sharon? Yeah, uh, mom's good. So that means our soul um, mic is in the cam. So we kind of try to try to guide us. I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> Keep extra noises down. So I would like to introduce to you our mayor of defiance, Bob Armstrong, and his wife right here, sure. Sharon. Thank you very much, Jackie. And uh, this was supposed to have been a surprise. <laughs> I mean, but how do you keep something like this quiet? Um, it, it's all come about uh, with Senator Rob Horton when being uh, contacted and told of the good work that's being done out here and and that we uh, we wanted to do something to recognize it. So from Senator Portman's office, they've flown a flag over the Capitol in Jackie's name and uh, it's being delivered here today by me. I have the privilege. So uh, with that, uh, let me read the proclamation that goes along with this, Jackie. It says, flag of the United States of America. At my request, this flag was flown over the United States Capitol in honor of Jackie Moss. I would like to extend my most sincere appreciation for all the work that you do at Friends of Felines Rescue Center. Thank you for your service to the community and providing a sanctuary for special needs cats. And down below is a certificate of authenticity that shows that this has been flown over the Capitol in your name. So it, it's my pleasure to present this on behalf of Rob Portman. Thank you, Bob. Uh, this is the flag that was flown over 
we've had it encased, and uh, it's something for you to be put up and, I, and hold as a memento. And I think that uh, it's it's a great honor, and uh, it's something when you can be recognized for something that you really love to do and that your heart's really in. And when I look at all of the volunteers here, and when I hear about everybody out on the website, and and learn more about how all of us uh, uh, that aren't cat lovers or aren't uh, cat people should appreciate services like this. So uh, really do appreciate everything you've done, and we're so proud to have you in our community. So thank you very much. Yeah, that was really nice. That was really nice. And this will find a special spot here also. Okay. That's really cool. The only other time I've seen one of these is my dad. <laughs> um, um, we also uh, got in the mail yesterday, and I didn't know this was coming, which rather moved me also, was a proclamation from the county commissioners. And um, I wanted to see if... Well, Eric, you're close. If you would like to read that, and because it is Flag Day, and we wanted to be represented by our some of our service people, and that of course is Alan, who was in the Army, no, Navy, Navy. <laughs> <laughs> and Eric, who was in the Navy too. They're both Navy. They're, no, no, oh, no, right. <laughs> Okay, from the Defiance County Commissioner's Proclamation, whereas the Board of County Commissioners of Defiance County, Ohio, wishes to formally recognize outstanding involvement in the, in the county, and whereas Friends of Feline Rescue Center has exemplified commitment and dedication to the citizens and felines of Defiance County and represent the very fiber of a successful community. And whereas Defiance County is fortunate to be to be able to depend on Friends of Feline's Rescue Center for educating the public in the need for responsibility and pet ownership, including reports of spay and neutered pets to help with animal population. Now therefore be be it proclamated that the Board of Defiance County Commissioners hereby declares this year's AD two thousand fifteen as a year to recognize Friends of Feline's Rescue Center, Rescue Centers, allegiance to sh the sheltering of felines and the, and the commitment to procure adoption for, very, for all cats in need of homes in Defiance County, Ohio. Therefore, be it further resolved that it is founded and determined that all formal actions of this board relating and concerning the adoption this proclamation were so adopted in an open meeting by the board in all deliberations of this board and any of its committees that resulted in such formal actions were in meetings open to the public in compliance with all legal requirements, including section 121 of the Ohio Revised Code. Signed Thomas Keim, Brian Mack, and Otto Nisley. You know, our, our friends at Felines, um, I used to, when we first started, felt like it was Dawn's and mine because we're the ones that had initially started it. And then soon after is when we started getting volunteers. And it was at that point, it was never just our Dawn's and my rescue. It broadened out to, our, to include all of our volunteers. And then it just kept going. And I don't consider this my rescue. This is all of our rescue. Um, and this is an honor for me. It's a big honor. I think I can speak for all of us at FFRC that this means a lot to us. And to have on this special day as Flag Day is also an honor. Our FFRC nation name, which we are also called, came some time ago as a way to include all of our supporters. This includes my mom and Steve our family, our volunteers, moderators, admins, our chatters, lurkers, and friends. It also includes our Defiance community, 
our community supporters, Facebook friends, our donators, and so many others. And of course, our wonderful veterinarians. And I'd also like to thank Laura Contessa for her part in this celebration. She took a lot of steps. Um, she's the one who made this happen. I'd like to thank Eric and Alan also for being here and representing our service people, of which we are deeply grateful for. When we first started FFRC, I was blown away even then by our community support. And then we started our 24-7 CAM of the rescue. It opened us up to friendships all around the world. This has been a blessing in many ways, not only in support of the cats and volunteers, but with support to help run this rescue center. We have made friends over the entire world, which has been awesome. We have now over 14 and a half million total views on our CAM, which was started in January 2009, just six years ago. FFRC was started in uh, the fall of 1999. We have taken in thousands of cats and kitties and have found homes for many of those thousands as well. We love what we do here at FFRC with a passion, and we also appreciate the support that we get with a passion. You've all heard the expression, it takes a village to raise a child. I believe it's the same way here. It takes a village of friends to raise these FFRC cats and kitties. And our slogan that we have, it's on the back of some of our shirts, says, FFRC Nation, many countries, one heart, one mission, one nation. And Pat here is the one who, who uh, came up with that. And the slogan for defiance is also wonderful. Defiance, a great place to live. And it certainly is indeed. I just want to thank you all for coming. This has been such a big honor for us here. Um, when we're done, there is cake over in the mail room. We'll do it in there instead of going outside because it's so, so humid. But Bob, we have something for you. Something you will never, ever have guessed. Our webcam viewers also don't know this. We took in two little kitties two days ago. Um, one is a little male, buff and white, and the other one is a little girl. And they were at John's Manville Friday, Friday, it was Friday morning they came in. And um, the man had went out to take his break and he heard the mewing and boy can they mew. They were in the wheel well and he felt so sorry for them. They were very, very dirty, very, very hungry, very hot. And he called his, he called here, I said, bring them in. And he called his wife, and they brought him in. And um, Peggy, <laughs> so this is the little girl. They have an upper respiratory. They came here with an upper respiratory, um, but they're getting better already. And their faces still. Zelda here, or Stella here loves babies. Emma. Um, so they're still in quarantine in the front bumpers room. This one's a little girl. This one's a little boy. A little buff, buff and white. And his name is now pronounced, or is now going to be called Armstrong. Well, thank you. So he came down there. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. So you can call anytime and check on it. I'll just check the webcam. How's yeah, that? There you go. Yeah. Really, you gotta take it. It's a freebie. It's a freebie. All right. Well, I have a story I'd like to tell. I would love it. If I could. Yes. And it's about Jackie. Oh no. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> and and uh, not only she does cat work, we all know about, but she does other humanitarian work also. And I was playing golf one day out at uh, out at Eagle Rock Golf Course, and I was with a fellow named Joe Trevino. And we were, I look across the woods, and I said, Joe, there's a turkey over there by the woods, and he looks like he's hurt. And Joe looks over, and he says, no, that's a hawk. He says, and he's got a broken wing. He says, let's go over and get him. No way. <laughs> we go over. He drives the golf cart over. Parks it by the woods and goes chasing after that hawk. And he catches it in the woods. 
And he comes out and the wings are flopping and the hawks are hollering and, and he brings it towards the golf cart. I said, well, what are we going to do here? And he says, well, you lift up my jacket and he says, and, and put it over his head when I put it in there. So he put it in the back of the cart and put the jacket over the top of his head. And I could see that hawk peeking his little eyes out <laughs> underneath that jacket as we sat in at the, at the cart going to the next hole. So I scooted way to the front part. <laughs> and, and we rode it and then played the next four holes with the hawk in the back. And we get to the parking lot and he says, okay, he says, you get over there and you pull back the jacket and I'll get him. And I said, okay. So he, I pull back and he gets him and it's we create quite a, quite a little stir in the parking lot there at the golf course and just happened there were people taking pictures and it ended up on the front page of the Crescent News. Well, what, we, what are you going to do with an injured hawk? Joe says, let's take him out to Jackie's. So Joe's got his old pickup there and here he comes over and we put the hawk in the seat beside him with the jacket up over the top of his head and when they were leaving the parking lot I could see Joe's head in the back of the hawk's head out of that old bag of pickup window, <laughs> heading out here. And when they get out here, you say, well, wow, so I, we will have to get him fixed up. So they ended up sending him to Kenton, Kenton, Ohio, and got him all fixed up, brought him back here, and we took the hawk out and let it go in the same spot with a mended wing. Now, that's quite a story. That, that's a great story. To this day, we call Joe Hawk. Yeah. Yep. He used to do that. Oh yeah. Well, I hope somebody's here likes Kate because we have a lot of Kate over in the mail room. What? Oh, you do? Okay. Well, thank you, Bob. I, uh, I really appreciate you. the comments. Uh, it, it, you're so proud of you and what you do and all the volunteers you have awesome. and the people throughout the world mm -hmm. that share the interest. We, um, Ellen, can you come over here and we'll get a picture of here? Um, and Sharon, thank you for coming too. Oh, so great. Oh, I want to thank you very much. Great part about being married. So mm -hmm. you get to do things like this and you know be with the people in the community that are really doing the good things. You know, I can put water in the water tower and pavement on the street, but here's what life's yeah. about. We we started out with just um, well, Angie was one of our first volunteers and it was really awesome to have that first one and then we grew to be like five or six and then that room was in the back and then we just kept moving out, moving out and building the building and now we have 40, 45 volunteers. They are what makes this possible. Yep, we do a lot of the work. They're great people. Well, how about we go get Kate? Yeah? Yeah. Cool. 700 viewers. Wow. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. All right. Should we go over and. Oh, I got to get a knife. Okay. And I'm going to lay.